action. Now, I'll get other sleeve it open a little ways. Da 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 da. Okay, it is April 4th. I keep wanting to say it's March, but it's April 4th. Wow, two more days. Two more days and it's Jesus' birthday. Wow. I know. Some of you know and some of you don't. Now my bones are hurting today, or right now. So, Thursday is what day it is, and then the, let's see, it's in between 7.30 and 8, something like that, at night, even early evening, huh? I know, my shoes are making a big old noise. I've got my moccasins on, and they've got that sole that has the nodules on it. My toes were hurting in my other shoes, so I changed shoes. It's like I had too much pressure on the tips of my toes or something. I have sensitive toes. <laughs> oh. Under the boardwalk, down by the sea, yeah, on a blanket with my baby, it's where I'll be. Okay, we're heading across the street where there were a whole bunch of yellow daffodils. Wow, they've got company now. Look at all the red. It's kind of taken over. And it looks like they do. They close up at night. Tripping. Tripping. Because some of these were open. I know they were. They didn't go dying. So at night, when it's cold, because it is, it's chilly right now, they have. I don't know, those daffodils look like they might be dying. They do. I don't know if they only have a one head. I mean, a, you know, some flowers you can take the, the flower off when it's dead and a new one will grow. But if you don't know that, then they don't grow. Take those, like what is that flower? Such a popular little flower in everybody's yard. And they're annuals, you have to plant them every year. Geez, I don't even have a clue what the name is. But they're really pretty. <laughs> you can plant them in the flower bed, you know, and you can have them, plant them all over the place. Or you can plant them in hanging pots or in, I don't know what you call them, but anyway, like a big old pot that you put a flower arrangement in so for it's um, live. So you plant different flowers that'll be at different lengths and, and draping over and stuff and they just turn out so beautiful. I'm gonna have to find out her name. I have a subscription to her, something to do with garden. But anyway, her mother has a nursery. <clears throat> I guess her mother and father. <clears throat> Sorry. And so she grew up around all that stuff. And she just is really good. And I haven't watched her channel in a while. I used to watch her all the time. I'll have to do that. It's just neat what she does. And I watched her property transform. I say... Added on and added on. Wonder what it looks like now. Yeah, my knee is giving me trouble. 
on my hip. <laughs> song's going to play in my head. <laughs> Under the boardwalk down by the sea, on a blanket with my baby is where I'll be. Yeah, I'm going to have to stop. My knee hurts. So I didn't make it very far at all. <laughs> Five minutes. That's not good. I'm gonna have to have a chart for me too. Cause sometimes I'll think I took a pill and I don't know if I did cause I thought I was getting, but I never did make it, you know? So you need a chart where you write down the time that you took the pill and put a check mark. Oh, and I can tell them, by the way, my bones feel, I need help. Okay, so things that I didn't remember and I took a picture of it. She had me take a picture of it because she was writing down different my different options and stuff. Uh, so what was the deal? Oh, the vitamins. Okay, so she wanted me to take calcium. One of my friends on here pointed it out. Yes, D3 and calcium. I'm not really quite sure about how much of the D3 because it's in, I think it's in units or something. Oh, she wrote it. I have a, a picture of what she said. In fact, well, I don't know. You probably wouldn't be able to read what the different medicines were. But I do got to read those printouts, okay? I have printouts of those things. It's just it's going to take time. There's so many great things out there, sounds like that ivermectin or something like that yeah so i saw that video today i don't need to watch it again and i think he was giving some clues you know on an animal i'm just i'm just doing what he did but he didn't say do it okay but on an animal you give them a shot just under the skin in between their skin and their other stuff and that ivermectin mectin is a shot. That's what it looks like. And, um, you know, when you have uh, animals, if you go to the right place, there's a veterinary supply place that'll sell to the public because there's people with horses and cows and goats and, you know, their own dogs because they're raising dogs where you can get stuff. So... I also had thought about it was, I thought it was a paste. Because what it is is a, okay, I don't know about this one, but it's, it's like it's an anti-parasite thing. Anti-parasite. And then one of the other things that I listened to was about the immune system. So I don't know if that had anything to do with that, but that was for, like uh, mange and other different things. But, you know, dogs that get mange and they get a skin problem. <clears throat> I don't know, but there's a whole lot of things to look into online. And my sister sent me a ton of them. I'm not complaining. I just need to look at them all. Um, <clears throat> And the other thing is about the electrolytes. I need to figure that out. I've got to, I need to get me some electrolytes because I will have no problem going without food. Um, if I was to do like Teresa's doing, you know, like a four hour window, eat during that four hour window, I think I can do that because I tend to do that anyway. But you need to have other things like the electrolytes. That's real important. 
So I could put this, I think it's like powder I can put in my drink, my water. Just have water and put that in it. And it'll give you the stuff you need. I guess there's a, you don't have to have food all the time. But I still got a lot to learn about that. So it's good to be walking slower. I'm walking slower. I just passed the house. <laughs> I feel like I got something in my eye. I know, it's always my finger. Well, when I turn around and go back, I'll probably stop at the house. And then I have to think, do I want to put a little scripture in there or not? Because <laughs> really, I was going to do a... I was going to read the Joseph Smith story. I believe the one in the front of the Book of Mormon is good. You know, there's one that has more details, but there's just so much to that. And there's so many good videos on it. If anybody wanted to check that out, go to lds.org. And I think you can find a lot of videos. And really, um, a lot of them are right there on YouTube. <laughs> the Testaments I know is on YouTube. Finding Faith in Christ, I'm pretty sure, is on YouTube. I don't know about the other ones, Legacy and Joseph Smith, the prophet of the restoration. Okay. Let's see. I'm at 12 minutes. You know what? I'm going to go one more time down here. Dog star playing in my head. I love that. Yes, precious music. No, but I have these tears. Did the music make me cry? Or is it just my eyes? Stay here. Change the dark to light. Yeah, it's getting dark on us, isn't it? Well, that's an interesting thing. I didn't realize they would shut up like that, but those red flowers close up at night. Pretty chill. And it is pretty chill. I'm on the sidewalk, walking next to these trees here. There are these tall things. Slender and tall. Yes, I'm going to have to play my music so I can be singing my songs. 
I can kind of hear them in my head, but not not good enough for me to sing it. I do love their music. Glad I got to hear it. I never heard of them before. So I want to go back and listen to all of it. You know, it's like when you find a great artist, you don't want just only what they're doing now. You want to go back and find all the other stuff. I'm hoping that people will find that in me. They'll find something they really like and they'll go, wow, okay, let's go back and find something else. So go back and listen to it all. It will become delicious to you. Now, that is, that is quoting the scripture a little bit, but it's the same. When you find something that you really like, and the more you listen to it, okay, I gotta sit down. The more you listen to it, the more you get out of it. That's how my stuff is, really, some of it. Okay, so we are at 16 minutes. I would say that's not very long, but I got a feeling I am gonna have a hard time walking. Okay, so. I probably should just do this really quick little walk and then do a separate thing with whatever it was I wanted to read. So I'm not sure what that is really. So for, um, I mean, I know there's things that I need to do to finish up certain books, but that doesn't mean that's what I want to do, okay? I just need to do some hit and miss. There's a lot of really great things in the Doctrine and Covenants, but I don't know where they are. I have to go, I'd have to go along and read some synopsis. Just read the synopsis of the section and then I would know what is in there. But I believe they're all revelations. That's the way I figured it. Revelations to Joseph Smith, but they're not all. That stops at a point when he got killed. And other things are there, like prob probably from different prophets. So that's something I'd have to go and learn. I know what I was wanting to do. I was going to read the Joseph Smith, his testimony or something like that. Let's see. See, there's one in the Pearl of Great Price. It's called Joseph Smith History. And I haven't read that, but it's longer. And then um, I wouldn't want to stop and section it out. I'd have to read the whole thing. So I was looking to see it doesn't have chapters. It's just all one long thing. And then it's got dividers by dots. You know, like, like there's different things added all together. So I don't know. That's that first one, Joseph Smith History and the Pearl of Great Price, if you go and try to find it. Um, Pearl of Great Price is a good thing. That's where Moses is. And that's where Abraham is. And we have not read anything in Abraham yet, I don't think. I think I've just read Moses. So I do want to finish Moses. And then I'll look into the other stuff. But I think in the very beginning of the Book of Mormon, there should be a testimony there of Joseph Smith. So maybe... I want it, it tells about the first vision. That's what I'm wanting to, wanting to share. I'm going to put you right here. And then. Let's see what's going on. I have to put my glasses on. Tell me what's going on.
I can hear that song playing in my head, but there's no way I can make those noises. Okay, so where do I want to go? See, what I've got left in Moses is three chapters, because I, I, I think I've just done five. I don't think I've done six. Yeah, I haven't done six. That's the one I started to... Uh, I don't know. <coughs> okay. That's what I'll do. I will just go ahead and close this one out. And then I'll do um, Moses 6 to itself. And then I'll see if there's anything I want to say about it. Because you never know. <laughs> you never know. Because I'll be reading it with you guys. Okay. So happy trails. This will be. This is March. No, no. This is April. I keep wanting to say it's March. This is April 4th. And I'm going to do a reading that will have the same date. So this is part one. Although the other one won't be a part of this one. And I know I'm being silly. Okay. Um, take care. Sorry that the walk is short. But it is hurting my bones. And I don't think I should take a lot of chance with that. Too late. Don't want my bones to break is what I'm saying, man. Take care. Love you guys.